This holiday season, you may be taking lots of pictures of family and friends, but you probably have a lot of old prints, slides, and even home movies tucked away in a box somewhere. So what do you do with all that and how do you preserve it? Jennifer Krause tells us how. After nearly 20 years of stashing old physical pictures and videos away, Consumer Reports tech editor Melanie Panola knew preserving them was too big of a task to do by herself. It's kind of like a mental burden or a mental weight to have them sitting there and not do anything with them. So Melanie digitized hundreds of family photos and videos as part of her research for Consumer Reports. She checked out 14 companies, sending her personal pics to several of them. These services will take your physical media, such as your photos, your negatives or slides, and then they'll turn them into digital files so it's easier for you to save, back up, and share with family and friends. They also do VHS tapes, movie reels, and audio tapes. Pack them in a box to send them off, and in return, you can get a thumb drive or a digital link for downloading. And don't worry, you also get your originals back. Even though it was scary to send my stuff out, it was really easy to actually to do and, and quicker than I thought. In just eight days, Melanie's digitized photos from Memories Renewed were complete. The quality of the photos matched the actual print, and it had the most color fidelity. And they also just had like really great customer service from start to finish. For her budget pick, Melanie chose Dig My Picks. They even let you preview your scanned photos and delete up to 20% of them from your order in case you decide you don't need or want them. Some tips from Melanie before starting a project like this? Try to pace yourself so you don't get overwhelmed when sorting and expect to laugh and cry. I think it's also an emotional project because there are some photos that I found of people that had passed away. I think just be prepared emotionally for that sort of experience. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5.